What was your experience like yesterday? Daniel doesn't want to be on video, so you're going to get to see Africa. Mm. It's a good sight, too. So, myself, John, and Joshua were a group, and we went to a, uh, a, a burn children's ward where all the children were burned in one, one way or another. And we got to pray over a lot of children that had those conditions, as well as the parents that were there to um, saw a lot of John saw a lot of stuff on that. So definitely interview him on that as the parents. Yeah, that was that was a really good insight. But we eventually made it to our second to last or last person and he wasn't burnt he was just a 13 year old boy who who was paralyzed from the waist down um, and we we prayed prayed over him um, and he started moving started moving his legs he started moving his moving his uh, toes um, <laughs> what was that like for you to experience that so Daniel's only been a believer for a handful of months mm -hmm. what was that like for you it it was it was awe-inspiring, but then also like, it, I, I think, uh, it's like, is this really happening? You know what I mean? Um, so there was like some doubt in there. It's like maybe there's just a, a gap between what he was saying that he couldn't move or he could move a little, and it's like, is this really happening? But the great thing about that is uh, the nurse that was escorting us throughout the whole day, um, when we were gathering outside, came and came and um, like, came and got me. It's like, hey, that, that little boy wants to talk to you again. He was in a wheelchair by the window, so I, I turned around and walked over to him. He's like, look, like, look at my, and his whole leg was jiggling, like it was all moving. So it's like, almost like God being like, it, you know, there's no doubt. Like, I was there, I was doing it. So it was completely a humbling experience. That's awesome. Yeah.